So hey, how's it going? Well, another beautiful day in Texas, another hurricane. We're on our way right now, going south down to Houston and uh, Hurricane Barrel hit today and there's about 2 million people in Houston without power right now. And one of them is my mother-in-law. So uh, we're gonna go down there and uh, try to extract her uh, and bring her back up to our home and uh, ride out the, uh, the power outage. And I thought something that was really interesting as we're driving down here uh, on I-45 from kind of from the Dallas area towards Houston, we're seeing a lot of uh, uh, power company trucks coming down here and that reminded me of something not everybody may know but when there's a major power outage like this the utility companies don't have enough resources to actually repair all the power lines so what they did is they have a network nationwide network and they have contractors and so they'll call in the contractors from even as far out of state as, uh, you know, three or four states open. And uh, the, the contractors will all come to the area and help get the power back on. But that's why sometimes it can take a week or two weeks before they can get all the power back on, especially from a hurricane situation, because they don't have the resources to get the power back on. So, you know, this is just one more reason after after going through this, living in Houston for my whole life pretty much, uh, and riding out many, many hurricanes and going without power for many, many weeks, uh, you know, I, I just finally got fed up with it. And, you know, DIY Solar really provided the, the, the answer for, for my challenges where I live, uh, being that I'm kind of remote. And uh, ever since then, it's been great. We have. Uh, the power has gone out uh, once in the last month where we are, and uh, we were actually eating dinner. We didn't even know the power was out. We got a text on the on the, on the phone and said, "Oh, you're, you know, the power company was texting us, telling us the power was out." So, you know, really, I, I, I'd encourage you if you if you have uh, an inclination to that, or if you're in a situation where you own your house, or or you're you know you're in an area where you can do something like. Uh, a solar system with a battery backup, uh, look into it because uh, if you do part of it or all of it yourself, you can save probably 65% of the total cost it would cost you to pay somebody to come out and do the whole solar system and install it for you. So that's just something to think about, especially here in the aftermath of a hurricane that hit probably, uh, I don't know, eight hours ago, maybe. Uh, and, and we we didn't catch much of it where we were, but. You know, you never know, they, you know, 12 hours ago, 24 hours ago, they thought it was going to hit, uh, you know, the middle of the Texas coast. And then the next thing you know, it's going through Houston. I mean, there's no predictability to this stuff. You're not going to have enough time to react, and get out. And, uh, you know, if you if you live in a if you live in a subdivision and you've got access to uh, natural gas, well, then, you know, a, a backup generator is a, is a decent uh, solution for you there because even when the power is out, you're going to have natural gas to power your, uh, your generator. But if you don't have unlimited natural gas uh, and you're just running off propane, you're going to only have a limited amount of propane to run your generator. And if it's wintertime and it's cold and you're running your heat with propane, you're going to go through that propane, 200, 400 gallons of propane in just a few days. As some of my neighbors found out, a couple of years ago when we had a big uh, big freeze. Uh, they all had backup generators, power went out, hey, no problem, man, but they're cruising along for two or three or four days. The next thing you know, they run out of propane. Well, power was out for another week and they couldn't get a propane truck in there for two weeks. So, you know, all that preparation and thought of having a backup generator, uh, it's a great idea, but, you know, solar gives you the advantage of having a, a unlimited replenishment of energy uh, for your batteries uh, where you don't have to rely on those outside inputs uh, that you would with a propane uh, backup generator. So these are just some thoughts to think about uh, in your situation, wherever you are. Everybody's use case is different. 
Uh, solar works for us. It may not work for you, uh, but but I'd encourage you to look into it if you have, or if you're just kind of scratching the surface, do a little bit of research. Look at some of the good YouTube videos out there with uh, there's a lot of good uh, uh, creators who put some, some great content out there about DIY solar. And uh, you can look, watch other people. They've, they've done this. They've created a, a very resilient energy system wherever they live so that they don't have to rely on the power company calling a thousand trucks from another state to help get your power hooked up. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy if you think about it, but we don't think about that when the power is on, do we? I'm Michael, Terre Hill Farm, where we're living two steps from off grid. Now we're driving down to help somebody that's uh, uh, not living off grid that doesn't have any power. <laughs> so we appreciate you watching and hey, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in there. I love I love talking to folks and answering questions, and I've learned so much from uh, everybody watching. So until uh, till next time, I'm Michael. Y'all take care.